Meghan Markle has had another busy week of attending royal duties, despite being heavily pregnant. But what new role did the Queen give Meghan on International Women's Day? The Duchess of Sussex joined a discussion panel of leading feminists for International Women's Day. Some of the other women on the panel included singer Annie Lennox and former Australian Prime Minister Julia Gillard. They talked about different issues affecting women today, as well as how women benefit from equal opportunities. But now she has another chance to help support women and girls across the Commonwealth. The Queen has made Meghan the Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. Her husband Harry is already President of the Trust, while the Queen is patron. Kensington Palace announced the news on Friday, which coincided with International Women's Day. The palace statement said, the Duchess of Sussex will today become Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. The Trust, of which Her Majesty the Queen is patron and the Duke of Sussex is President, exists to champion, fund and connect young leaders around the world who are driving positive social change, serving their communities and providing hope work and self-employment opportunities for others. In this new role, the Duchess will highlight the Trust's partnerships with young people across the Commonwealth, and in particular its work supporting women and girls. The Duchess of Sussex has regularly been vocal about the importance of women's empowerment. During her recent tour of Morocco, she said to a group of females, women have to challenge everywhere in the world. Back in 2015, she also spoke at the UN Women's 20th Anniversary of the Fourth World Conference of Women in Beijing event. She recalled being angry at the age of 11 over a TV advert about soap manufacturer Procter & Gamble featuring a slogan saying, Women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. She wrote to the then U.S. First Lady Hillary Clinton, TV journalist Linda Lurby and attorney Gloria Aurid, as well as a letter to the soap manufacturer. Meghan received letters of encouragement from all three of the women, and a camera crew even came to her house in Los Angeles to interview her. She said, When I was just 11 years old, I unknowingly and somehow accidentally became a female advocate. Two boys from my class said, Yeah, that's where women belong, in the kitchen. I remember feeling shocked and angry and also just feeling so hurt, it just wasn't right and something needed to be done.